guys, welcome back to the Xena Star Galaxy. So excited to be bringing you guys another Dungeon Hunter Champions video. It's been some time and I've missed you guys. If this is your first time to my channel, I'm Xena Star. I am a Twitch streamer as well as a video game content creator here on YouTube. I also am on Instagram and Twitter and I definitely connect with a lot of people on there. So I'll leave all the links below for all that fun stuff so you can check me out. In today's video, we're gonna be talking a bit about the new event coming up for Dungeon Hunter Champions. It's been a while since I've done a DHC video and I'm really excited to be getting back into the swing of things. And if you guys have been around for a while and you know how inconsistent I am with my posting, I am working on an upload schedule for you guys. I will have that soon so you guys can have guaranteed days where you'll see some more content popping up on my channel. And I have a lot of new stuff in the works for you guys. So I'm really excited for that. So stick around for that. If you're new, again, make sure you subscribe to the channel and turn on the bell notifications to get notified when I post videos. So if you guys haven't heard, a new event is coming out for Dungeon Hunter Champions. It is another common disc event and I'm really pumped. We're gonna go through it and just have a look at what that looks like, what it's gonna to take to complete it, and how you can farm enough common discs to finish this event. Let's have a look here. So if you guys aren't already a part of the Dungeon Hunter Champions Discord, make sure to check out the links in the description. I will have a link to the Discord. It's where you basically get announcements first for anything that's happening in the game. And the developers are really great at keeping us in the loop on certain things. Uh, they respond to us there, I love it. So good. Yeah, so common disc splurge event, uh, sweet items going from a January 17th to January 21st. So this event is gonna start at server reset tonight. So uh, I'm really pumped to see how that looks. So let's take a look at what is required or really what, what is this event all about. Basically, the way it works is you are, if you have a bunch of common discs saved up, or if you don't, you're gonna wanna start saving them. You use your common discs in a special event shop to purchase different items. So if we look at what is in the shop, items in Blueberry special common disc event shop, we have one Tudor Fuzzle Puff is 300 discs, so that's Awesome, a Tudor Fuzzle Puff for some common discs that I'm probably not gonna use. Totally down. You can get an LD disc for 400 discs. You can get 25 legendary shirts for 200 discs, one rare disc for 35 discs, and 100,000 gold for 40 discs. There's also goodie bags and candy boxes. So I'm gonna assume those are for something else. I don't know what we're using those for. Maybe the goodie bag is like a special, like bag that you summon and it opens and there's like different potential items in it, kind of like the mystery crate. I don't know, that's my guess. And then maybe candy boxes are like a special summoning disc or something like that, uh, or summoning token, similar to the things that we've seen in the past, like the jack-o'-lanterns and uh, the candy canes at Christmas. I don't, not candy canes, gleaming stars rather at Christmas, like who knows? I don't really know. We'll find out, I guess, when it launches. But there's not any information on that as far as I know anyway. So essentially those are the different items that you can purchase in the Common Disc Event Shop. Now, if you want to completely buy out the shop, minus the goodie bag and candy boxes, you're looking at uh, 975 discs. So that's pretty ach achievable. I'm assuming this doesn't reset daily or anything. So my assumption is you get like one shot to buy everything that's in the common disc event shop. And then goodie bags and candy boxes probably have like a certain amount that you could purchase. I guess we'll find out tomorrow uh, how many of these items are available in the shop. It's unknown at this point, but once we have that information, once the, the event goes live, then Awesome, super exciting. One of the ways that you can farm a lot of discs if you don't have the discs saved uh, is obviously doing Steel Widow and Elder Drake. Uh, if you're a newer player and you're not farming those yet, one of the ways that you can get enough common discs to do this would be just to farm your scenarios. So uh, you get, I believe, a max of five common discs in a scenario run. Now, not every scenario run is going to obviously get you discs, but if you go into your adventure boards, if you're newer, just basically farm the highest level that you can. So for example, um, if you're just starting out, maybe you can only do board one um, and scenario 10. So you're gonna focus on, in, what I would do is focus on the scorpion stages because they're usually the fastest stages to farm. Um, so you could do board one on normal, uh, board one ten on normal. Uh, then you could, you know, move up. I would say your next goal would be like six one normal, um, 
and then so on and so forth. And obviously, if you can get to Epic or Legend, use friends reps. Make sure you're adding, you know, higher higher level players so that you can use their reps to take them into six one Legend because it's just a it's going to give you more experience for leveling up your champions, but then also more discs are going to drop. So that's where you can focus some time. Um, and then also. Obviously, if you can farm Steel Widow, I farm Steel Widow 11, so you can get like 12 common discs and a drop there. And then obviously Elder Drake, as far up as you can farm. Uh, if you're a newer player and you can farm up, you know, call it floor 7, 8, 9, 10, then that's probably where your time is best spent. Um, if you can't farm those levels, then you probably really need to focus on champion building anyway. So you can kill two birds with one stone, level up some champions, and farm your adventure boards with some friends reps. However, I think this is a very achievable event, uh, assuming that you know these items are in the shop once. I, I don't really know yet, we'll find out tomorrow, and I will keep you guys posted in the comments once I know. But yeah, I'm really excited to, to have this event. I need all the L and D discs that I can possibly get because I'm trying to get myself a dark magical girl, uh, as you guys know. And I'm excited to see what these candy boxes and candy bags look like. Hopefully they're fruitful for everyone. And good luck on your common disc event invokers. That's all I've got for you today for this video. This was just a quick one to get this event out to you guys. If you guys like this video, make sure to drop a like on it and hit me up in the comments. Let me know what you're most excited about with this event and what events you want to see come up in the future. We've just come off a season of events and uh, you know we just fin we're just finishing up the arena event. So there's been a lot of cool events. So wh what's been your favorite so far and what do you guys want to see in the future? But yeah guys, I gotta get going. I got things to do and people to see. So thank you guys so much for coming by my channel and checking it out. Uh, I will have some really cool videos up for you guys in the next like few weeks. We're going to Japan in less than two weeks. We'll be in Japan shooting videos with Gameloft and Dungeon Hire Champions and doing some of our own stuff. So be sure if you want to check out that content that you subscribe to the channel and turn on the notifications, okay? Anyways, I will see you guys in the next video. Remember to spread love and not hate. And I'll see you guys again soon. Peace!